Hello, today we're going to talk about the Tortec Transformer Type Inverter. The, uh, the Tortec Transformer Type Inverter works on low frequency. That means it has a uh, 50 Hz uh, large transformer in it. The DC voltage is, is switched on the input side of the transformer and then the transformer then pushes the voltage up to 240. There's some filtering there and then, and then it's taken out to the output side and, and taken to the load. I'll turn the inverter on first of all and get it running and then we'll talk about some of the parameters of the inverter. On the top of the inverter it actually has all the different types of batteries which you set the, the batteries for by turning a, a little switch here and then you set for the type of battery you have whether it be lead acid or AGM. Um, any problems with warning messages are all explained here in terms of LED uh, messages or audible sounds. You just look at, look at the uh, chart here and you can actually see exactly what's on. Over here you have the main switch. The main switch here actually turns the inverter on. You see it's a 12 volt um, inverter, 2000 watts, so 12 volts in, 240 volts out. The, uh, the one of the one of the uh, very interesting features of this particular inverter is that it has uh, what we call power saving mode. So I've just switched on the power saving mode. But the advantage of this is, if it's in power saving mode, you're pulling much less current out of the battery. So every every um, ten or fifteen seconds. It actually pulses to see if, if the load is there. If the load's not there, then it stays, it stays in the special power saving mode. So now when we go to off power saving mode, you can see the current here is somewhere cycling between 0.1 and 0.6 of an amp. Now I switch to, it's off. Now I switch on to non-power saving mode and you'll see the current come up to about 2.7 amps. Most of the time, the power that it's pulling is only 0.95 of an amp, so you're pulling around about between a third or a quarter of the normal power uh, current, which is power, uh, out of the batteries, which is an enormous uh, advantage because you're actually saving a lot of power in uh, no load idle current um, operation. One of the big advantages of this type of inverter, I'll put the load on now. I'll just plug the load in. The load will come up. There's the load. That's about. It's only about 250 watts of load there. Um, I've cranked that up now. You can hear the fan automatically come on because now it's pulling uh, around about uh, 1500, 1600 watts. We'll push that up further. That's pulling now around about 1780 watts. And now we'll give it a lot of power now. Now we're pulling around about 2,200 watts and this is only a 2,000 watt inverter. So it handles the overload with, with a lot of ease, a lot of ease. One of the big advantages of this type of inverter compared to the high frequency inverter is the amount of surge power that this can handle. This will handle three times rated power, which in this case is a 2000 watt inverter, 12 volt in, 240 volt out. So it'll handle 6000 watts for 20 seconds or more. The high frequency inverter will only handle approximately about two times rated current. So this would only handle 3000 watts for maybe 0.2 of a second. 0.2 of a second compared to 20 seconds this is only two times rated power as against three times rated power. The other big advantage of these units is that these units are very rugged. The componentry in these units are mounted on a printed circuit board. They're not suitable for, for vibration. They're not suitable for use in a recreation or any type of vehicle due to the vibration. The components are loose and they'll come off the printed circuit board or they'll, or they'll come off the soldering. Or the soldering will come undone. Here you've got a transformer with heavy connections to the to the input, uh, and that nothing will come loose. So it's, these are suitable for 
use in four-wheel drive vehicles, recreational vehicles, uh, vehicles that produce a lot of vibration on the, on the componentry.